Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a new video for you. Um, this time I did a NYX haul and I am so excited to show you everything that I got. I spent so long at NYX on three different occasions. Three different? Yes. Because I wanted to try everything that I thought that was interesting and I didn't want to waste my money on things I thought I wouldn't like. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, so the f Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is something that's not out in the UK yet, but I thought I would get myself one because I want to do a review on it. And it is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. Yeah, it comes in this box and it's quite small. It's 13 ml and it's 15 euros 90 and since it hasn't come out in the UK yet, I don't know how much it will be. The next thing that I got was a setting spray and because I have oily skin, I got it in the matte finish and it's 60 ml and this is definitely in the UK because it was always out of stock when I was still there. And yeah, I feel like this has kept my makeup on so much longer throughout the day. I was in a two hour seminar and when I came out, normally I would get some sort of like oiliness on my face and I'd have to use some blotting sheets but with this I didn't have to and that was really surprising yeah so mm, wait for yeah it's so good but it doesn't taste good oh. anyway next thing I got the Bright Idea Illuminating Stick and I got it in Chardonnay I am just gonna swatch it for you here Oh my god, you can't, okay. The sun's going down, but if I go like this, you can't see it, so. Do you see that? Um, I think this is really good if you have oily skin because you don't want your face to look oily, oily when you have a highlighter on. And with this, it dries into a powder even though it starts of kind of creamy. It reminds me of the WhatsApp but that one is a bit too creamy for me and it really kind of makes my face look really oily when it's on for so long. But this one, because it, it's kind of powdery after you applied it, after it dries, but it looks fine. I've, I've got some on right now, I don't know if you can tell. Look, it's a bit this. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, let's move on. Next thing for face, I have got the HD Finishing Powder. This is eight pounds, I think, in the UK. And honestly, um, this is really good. I don't really notice a difference with um, the Laura Mercier um, Loose Setting Powder. And this is only like eight pounds, and that's like 30 pounds. This, however, gives you a, a flashback. So when you set your camera on flash and you take a picture, it looks like there's flour on your face, so just be careful. But actually I use this matte maker, this is not NYX, this is Maybelline. And I just put it over on top when I'm oily and yeah, and I look fine. So next thing, because the sun really is going down because I've left this too long, let's move on to ice. I have got the Tinted Brow Mascara in Brunette and it comes in this box. Yeah, it comes in this box and it looks like this. I forgot how much this is in the UK. But yeah, uh, let me show you what it looks like. Ugh. It's not very good, it's not a very good swatch. but. And it, I don't think it applied very well on my eyebrows. It just made them look a bit, a bit wetter. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep trying it and let you guys know if you wanna know. Let me know. Yeah, and oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I have got something else for face. How could I forget? It's the matte bronzer. And I got it in deep because the medium one, it was just so orange. You know, normally I would pick something medium because I would assume that that's my shade even though it clearly wasn't. This is in deep and I'm gonna show you guys what it's like. I'm wearing it right now, but here it is. All right, do you see that? It's, it's, not, it's not so orange. I'm so sorry about my lighting. Yeah, but I just really like it for bronzing. 
I mean, I don't really contour, I don't know. The, I'm not very good at contouring, clearly. I really like it. it. It applies so easily. It's so smooth. It just blends so much easier than the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. So yeah, I hope you guys try that. And, okay, back to the eyes. I have got the matte liquid liner. And I got this because I prefer matte looks. Um, and they've also got the um, vinyl one. But yeah, I'm gonna try this now for you guys. So you can see what it's like. Right now I'm using this Revolution um, Awesome Double Flick Liquid Eyeliner. And it's got two ends. Like, one that's a bit thicker than this one. The thin end is, wait. Yeah, the thin end is a bit longer. There. It's also quite black. I really like that. And this is the Revolution one, by the way. Yeah, and that's the um, thick one. And so, let's try this, because I haven't tried it yet. I'm not going to put it on myself, obviously, because I've got makeup on already. Ooh. But, my gosh, this sun, honestly. Um, How the hell am I going to... Right, this is it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so black. And, um, look at this. That pen, that brush, whatever you want to call it, is so thin. It's going to be so hard for you to make mistakes, I think. Well, at least for those people who know how to flick a line and uh, flick your eyeliner. Yeah, oh my gosh, I, I am so excited to try that. Anyway, next thing, I have got the Wonder Pencil. It looks like this, and I got it in light. I can actually use this for my eyebrows. I, I used it today. And um, you can use it on your lips, but I didn't do that today. Or you can use it for your waterline, and you can use it to conceal, but I don't think I'm gonna use this for concealing because my skin's too dark for that. Next thing, we have the NYX lingerie. Right, and this one is in French made. I really like the NYX lingerie um, selection because it dries matte, but it's not too drying. And I've actually got one of them on right now. This one is in Bedtime Flirt. Okay, you guys, this first one, French made, it has kind of like pinky, mauvey undertone, whereas the uh, bedtime flat at the bottom, it's more peachy pinky, and I really like this one, and I feel like this applies way darker on my lips, so I think I'm gonna have to carry on putting concealer on my lips, so that it shows this color. Yeah, I really like them both, and I hate dry lips. So these are so good because you can still move your lips about and it doesn't really budge. It stays on for so long and it's so cheap. Honestly, you need to try these. Okay, so let's move on to my final few things. I'm just gonna remove some of the crap on my hands and let's go. The final things, I got some matte lip creams. These are so easy to wear. I got it in San Paolo and I got it in Manila because I'm from Manila. Yeah, so I'm gonna swatch it both for you guys. And, um... Okay, so if you can see, the Manila one has got like coral kind of orange ready tones, whereas the San Paolo is definitely more on the pink and red side. I feel like both of these would be good if you like to stain your lips. Like, you know those um, those Korean kind of lip styles where you have the gradient, where you tint the inside of your lips and just feather it out? These are so good for that. I mean, like, let me just compare this to the lingerie. Right, wait. Do you see, like, these are a bit shinier than the lingerie so I feel like that's why it's not as drying as the lingerie ones but they're both pretty good I just 
feel like these are easier to put on when I'm in a rush. And normally when I am in a rush, I put this Stockholm on. This is not from the haul, but I got it back in the UK and it looks like this. Sorry if you can't see. Yeah, it's sort of like a nudie peach, but I'm not really that into nudes at the moment because I just feel like they drown out my face. It's, they're just too light. But yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, and I think that concludes my haul. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and see you next time. Bye.